first work walk in the Lake District and we're in the National Trust car park and today we are going to head up in that direction to do Red Pike and go along the ridge over to Haystacks and over to Fleetwith Pike. I'm joined by James today. Just James? Just me. You looking forward to it James? I'm looking forward to it, yeah. This is your first major hike in the Lake District, isn't it? It is. It is. I'm excited. Let's get going. Okay, let's do it. So we're off. Uh, it's just James and me today. There's no Andrea. Uh, there's no Poppy. No Hannah. And no Abby. Uh, the ladies have decided to do a gentle walk in Lanth with Wood, I think, and then they're coming to Buttermere and Honister. And they're actually going to pick us up at the top of the pass. Uh, but at the moment, we're just heading into Buttermere. Uh, the sheep are on the bridge. <laughs> okay, got off it for us. So, we just come around the bottom of Buttermere, and just in front of us is our path. Our path goes up there. Um, if you want to go around the lake, you go that way. But we are going up to Red Peg Blueberry Tarn, so we're going up the steps. And so the climbing begins. So, this is when the real work starts, James, what do you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> I can see the, the stairway ahead. Yeah, it goes on a bit, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. But still, this is nice. At least there's a path. Okay. We seem to be coming to the fence now. And, uh, I tell you, that was a tight little walk up those steps. Nice warm up. <laughs> nice warm up. Good one, James. So, okay. Yeah. So we seem to walk along here and then go over the stile. Oh, it's nice to get a bit of flat. Okay. First cuckoo? Sorry. Yeah, that's the first time you heard it, Jim. First time? Yeah. Okay. So three times, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll hear them more. So, there's where we're going. Up the hill. I think it twists a wee bit here. Goes round to the right. That's really nice. When the sun comes out a little bit, it really does make it look spectacular. Well, we're, we're feeling a little bit of drizzle here at the moment which is cooling us down, which is nice. But we will just push on, I think. I'll follow James. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There's Buttermere Village and Crummock, Rannardale and Grassmoor. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah. There's the cuckoo again, just three times. He, he has three, he's a three call cuckoo. <laughs> a little bit of agony on the stairs. I'm getting watched from on high. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's nice now. Looking down into Crummock. We can't be that far from Blueberry Tower now. Just having a little breather here, but enjoying the sound of the the waterfall. It's really, it's really nice. It's a big gap in the mountain, isn't it? It is. A chasm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the way down. I create the chasm. <laughs> There's Buttermere. And there's our car, we guys, you see the car from here. We're here. Wow. <laughs> oh, look how clear it is. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. It is. Oh. It is. That's beautiful. So, 
It's the first milestone. First milestone. I think it's a coffee time. Oh, I so. think we should stop running. Right. <laughs> just the way we sprinted up here. I think we just need to pace ourselves now, Dad. Yeah. We just need that mist to clear too. Okay. okay. All right. Spend water. Back again. Yeah, yeah. Straight ahead. We're, we're, we're going to follow a couple who are in front of us now, and uh, really enjoyed that coffee. James is going to lead the way, so path is up this way. <laughs> we miss Poppy though, don't we? Yeah, I do. So here we go. We've just come up to what I think is called the saddle, and there's a junction here. So up this way is Red Pike, and this way, sorry I was too quick there, this way is Dodd. Which we about 20 seconds ago. <laughs> it's gone, it's just gone, so. We just get our breath and then crack on. crack on. If those other people are just you just you just can't see them, but they're up. They're just up there. There we go, heading up to Red Pike. And we wonder, is it called Red Pike because of the the colour of the stones? The stones changed colour when we passed Blueberry Tarn. It's very very browny, rusty red, I think. And this little bit up to Red Pike, it's easy. There's no stepped path it's really just loose stones and scree and you have to be careful but james is going great there he goes a wee bit of rain now obviously falling but this is a nice wee gap oh you have to be so careful so i'll switch off the camera yes. This is the top I beg. Hello. And that's it. Yeah, well done. This is my first main ride? Yeah. Very first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's Red Pike. Uh, 755 meters, James. Your first win ride. First one. Yeah. And uh, well, the next one is this way. but. Unfortunately, we have no view. But it was we... a tough one to start off with. Very tough. Very tough. That scree coming up was very, very difficult. But you did well, James. You did very well. Still heading for high style. We're in the clouds, in the mist. But there's a cairn over there that we're following. And that takes us up. Well, up ahead. Yep. James is. Well, he's mo moving on very, very well. well. See that guy in the mist? That's James. James at the top of High Style. Number two, done. Good lad. Good lad. We didn't fill in there much because the last was more of a rain and we've all the waterproofs on. Oh, good see. But well, we've done well to get here. Well done, James. Well, it's, it's stopped raining, but it's still very misty. So we've come down from High Style. I think it's High Crag we're heading for now. This is quite a scenic bit. That would be a phenomenal view down there if we could just see it. But James is, <laughs> he's up at the next marker post. And uh, these marker posts are great. They've really helped us. So if it's not raining, we'll film a bit more. But if it rains again, then the cameras will just have to go away. James is doing very well, I must say, he's been very impressive. Two, he's a double wing rider now. Yeah. And very chuffed about it. Don't stop me now. Getting the map. <laughs> Getting the map. Yeah. 212 to go. Good lad. There's a little lull in the wind, so we can talk a wee bit. Yeah. Heading out to High Crag, 7.44 metres. Came down a little bit, now we're heading up again. Yeah. Hold on. This is number three, High Crag, 7.44 metres. And uh, there's no real plaque or anything to say it, but uh, this is what my GPS says is the top. And uh, number three, 
Wayne Knight number three for James. Wayne Knight number three. You're at the triple of Wayne Rider. We're ticking them off, right? <laughs> at this way they're going, we'll have them done by done by dinner time. <laughs> Stick two on the uh, peak for uh, these big rag. This is it. Second time round. This is it, James. Stay there, do your wee dance. Well done. Seven four four. This is it. The <laughs> I don't know what to say. We're at Scarth's Gap and there's haystacks in front of us. Oh, and there's a nice wee hurdy coming up to see us. But by golly, oh, it has been tough, tough, well, tough. We've, ke we've come down high style, high crag. That high crag descent was oh, so slippy. Three times I think I fell. And, uh, a lot of the time I had to scramble down on my ass, to be honest. It was tough. Tough, tough, tough. But we're in a bit of a shelter here now. That's James. That's a sound of relief. Uh, we're soaked, aren't we? We are, we're drenched. We are. So we're gonna head drenched. we're gonna head back down now to to Buttermere. I nearly forgot what it's called. Because we're just soaked, we're just done. Just yep. done. Those are tough peaks. Those are tough peaks. Respect to everybody who does them and can do them in no time. Respect. Oh boy. And there's what we came down earlier. <laughs> wow. Anyway, we're heading now down to Buttermere. Just been chatting to a few people. And uh, they're telling us it's going to clear at one o'clock. Well, that didn't do any good for our morale. <laughs> our morale is let's get back down to, back down to sea level. How about that, James? Sea level? That'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah. So we just kept going down now. And James has been hallucinating about his bacon sandwiches. <laughs> They're marinating in the back of his backpack. <laughs> he's, he's, he's drooling about them. Well, here we are. Just as good as I imagined it would be. <laughs> he, he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. Till we got to the bottom. No, he said, no, I have to have my bacon sandwich now. And uh, there it goes. We can just see Buttermere now. It's opening up there to us. There's the valley now, looking up the haystacks. Absolutely beautiful. And look at all the, the bluebells as well. Gorgeous. There's Git Scarth Farm. And there's the man guarding the gate. Toad. <laughs> there's a toll. I've tried to auction off my bacon sandwiches, but he said there was no tomato sauce in them. So he wouldn't buy them. <laughs> Loving the view. The sun has sort of come out to tease us now. Oh, James thinks we should have gone on now. <laughs> Just because he's had his bacon sandwich. Uh, he's full of energy. Yeah, i have just gone around nice and slowly. Oh, it's beautiful. It's lovely. You know, it's worth coming to the lake district like, just for this moment. Even though I am feeling sore and tired and wet. We're now back to the start of the, the climb and the steps behind us. Uh, we've discussed doing a second lap, but that discussion lasted about a second. What have you got to say, James? I'm thinking uh, <laughs> we've made the right decision. Oh no, we're, we're done, we're good. We're done. We're we're good. Although we're getting, we're getting the best weather now that, that we've had all day. Yeah. And you know, well, we just walk back to the car and, and go back home. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. No messing. The ends in sight, James. <laughs> Thank goodness. We're back at the National Trust car park in Buttermere. We've, we've done well. Have we? 
definitely have. I definitely have. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. Well, the weather made it hard. The conditions made it incredibly hard. Yeah. But you're in one piece, James. We're in one piece, and we were still flying at the end. Yeah. There's more left in us. Yeah. But the weather. Yeah, it beat us. The weather beat us. We, we respected the weather. Respected. Good, good walk, James. Thanks. There's my watch. Five hours. Six hours. Four minutes. 54 seconds. 23,000 steps. That is a brilliant walk. I look forward to seeing the Strava and the Relive data later.